Right, hello everyone. Um, we're here today as part of the uh, Worthing College Academy of Sport. Um, obviously during these, these testing times, as you can see, uh, myself and Adam, we don't know what a razor is during this, this time in isolation. Um, we are, yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, we, we hope that you are all safe and well. Um, but what we're looking to do through quite a few of these, uh, these vodcasts um, is just to give yourselves, so any upcoming year 11s um, or anyone that has an interest in coming to the college in September, um, some more information on what we offer um, and how we do it and how we maintain our successes. So um, firstly, I'm going to introduce to you Adam Knight. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to quite a few of, of the staff members as we, as we go through the weeks. So I think it's important to get faces to names. Um, Adam, hello. And uh, just give yourself a little bit of uh, an introduction to, to the world about what you do and how well you do at the college. Um, so yes, my name is Adam Knight. Um, I predominantly teach um, on year 12 sports and year 12 sports science, which is level three. And then, but I also teach on uh, level four and five um, with a foundation degree that we run at the college as well. Um, in regards to like what I teach mostly is I um, teach like the AMP uh, modules, which predominantly are the examined modules. Um, I'm also the lead IV for sports um, and PE. So, um, uh, yes, yeah, so I have that, that responsibility as well. Excellent. And, um, you know, Adam's quite a modest guy. Um, he does some, produce some amazing resources. Um, we'll try and get a plug for his website in there at, at some point. Um, but it is, uh, you know, he's an excellent team member and, uh, and hopefully he's going he's gonna to help us uh, navigate today's chat, which is, which is based on um, the BTEC Sport Extended Diploma, which um, if you guys and girls have applied for this, it will be the BTEC Foundation Diploma in Sport because that's the first year of the qualification. Um, I'm aware that probably now you're doing a lot of research into your courses for the coming year. You know, am I on the right course? Is this something that's going to interest me? So again, it's just a case of um, of just putting the information out there for you to, to have a look at. Um, so in terms of this, I'm not going to I'm not going to dwell too much on on some of these slides. Um, it's really important for us to to give out all the information, to be honest with that information. Um, and you know to provide enough for you as a student and as parents as well and carers to, to make an informed decision because it's a it's an important decision in your life um, obviously at the moment there's a lot of uh, worry and anxiety out there uh, maybe a lack of motivation um, which I, which I hope is not the case um, so hopefully we can we can drive that motivation back into you or you know in increase that motivation with regards to your next steps and obviously we would love to work with you at at the college um, <clears throat> there's a few there's a few myths out there at the moment with regards to qualifications um, in terms of the a level versus b tech um, adam do you want to just say a couple of words i haven't put you on the spot do you want to just say a couple of words about how how the course how the b tech has changed over the last three years and how you know, we as a group have adapted to that change? Um, well, about three years ago, the BTEC consisted just solely of coursework. Um, so you, yeah, so you would just hand in so many bits of coursework throughout the year and be marked um, by staff and then you'd, that would be your grade. However, now they've changed it. So I think it's about three, literally three years ago um, to the day that they changed, um, changed it to contain four exams over two years. So um, you do two, two exams in the first year, two exams in the second year, and, that, and then the rest is coursework, like how it used to be. Um, so you'd get part of your grade from how well you do in the exams, and then the rest of your grade would come from the, the coursework that you've done. Nice. So, so the important thing there is really is the fact that, um, you know, there is that balance now of, of examine-based assessment and, and coursework-based assessment, which... To some, and I, and I think to us at the start three years ago, we were like, well, you know, kind of that, that's a, that may be a little bit unfair on the students because they, they picked the BTEC route because of, you know, exams aren't their thing and they like to learn more practically. But actually as, you know, and we'll, we'll explain as this, as this chat goes on, um, as, um, as the years have gone on and as we've developed the courses as well, there's actually nothing to fear. I think that, um, 
you know, we're, we provide an environment where you're safe. We provide an environment where you've got all the tools um, to be a real success. So again, you know, this is, this is now for every, you know, every college in the country. Um, this year now it's the first year that this, this, this has to come in um, for everyone. We've been doing it for three years because we felt that we wanted to make sure that we're in a position to, to be highly successful. And, and to be fair, our results haven't, haven't changed since, uh, since we made the change. They, they've stayed relatively consistent. So that's great testament to both the, the staff and the students. Um, look at this slide. It's a bit all over the place. It's a bit mental. So, but basically just for you lot at home, um, the qualification itself on the extended diploma is the two year program. However, what we do here, and we made the decision a long time ago, we've been doing it years now, is to actually um, have courses that, that run for a year. Um, so the first year on this one, you will do the foundation diploma um, in sport. And then the second year, um, you will progress onto, onto the extended diploma. Um, obviously, we've got to mention there that exams wise, you do have to pass them. Um, but again, we will make sure that you are in the best possible position to pass those exams. Um, Adam, do you want to say anything on the, on the benefits of, of having, you know, a cutoff point at the end of the first year um, in terms of gaining qualification then, then kicking on to the second year? Yeah, so if you look at um, the list here, you can see the, the units. So we do units one, two, three, four, six and seven in the first year. And what they accumulate together is their own mini qualification so if you can compare that to a levels you would have one and a half a levels at the end of your first year and you could technically leave the college and say you have the equivalent of one and a half a levels um qualification style and then in the second year we then do exactly the same amount of units but obviously different units and then that would give you another 1.5 equivalent of a levels so then you leave after two years with what would be three a levels but the BTEC version. And so yeah. what's, quite, what's quite effective about that is if you do have a, a change, you know, there's some circumstances change, you need to move colleges, move areas, you want to um, leave college and do a, uh, pursue a, a different job, for et cetera, then you actually have a qualification after one year. So yeah, spot on. I think that flexibility is key. And I think that flexibility is something that runs through all of our all of our courses and also our TAS programme, which is um, Talented Athlete Scholarship Scheme. So, you know, having that academic flexibility allows you to create your own path. So, you know, the majority of students down for two years, um, but some students, uh, maybe they're, they're slightly older students, they do a year, they're topping up their qualifications, they can then go on elsewhere. Um, you know, the, the, the important thing is, is, is progression routes, which we will touch upon in a minute, um, in terms of the positive progression routes. And we want to make sure that if that, if a student only stays for a year, they are fully equipped to go out into whatever they want to do. Um, so this, in terms of the, the units, they're picked um, by us and they're picked by us, obviously some that we have to do, um, but there's also some optional ones in there. So Adam, do you want to have a quick run through of year 12, which is the yellow boxes, and then, and then I can run through year 13, which, is the, which are the green boxes? Yes, yeah, so if, if you look at the first two boxes of, um, of the yellow section, they are the examined units. So this year we did unit one as a January exam. So we had four hour of lessons and um, every week, and then that all accumulated to completing the exam in January. Um, and then um, the unit two exam, we would do exactly the same four hours a week, and that would accumulate in the exam being in May or June. Uh, meanwhile, you've got these other coursework based units. So three, four, six, seven, and nine, um, and they're slowly being done throughout the year. Um, so if you look at some of them, what they involve, um, unit three is very much about you being able to apply for a job within the sports industry. So you have to research your own job, undertake some interviews. Um, so it's kind of getting you ready to apply for things once you leave college. Um, meanwhile, units four and seven are very much practical units where uh, four, you're going out and doing a bit of coaching. Meanwhile, seven, you're doing a bit of playing. And then your coursework is you um, analysing your own performance in the coaching and analysing your own performance in the actual playing. Meanwhile, uh, six is sports psychology. So this is very, it's quite popular with a lot of students where we're looking at not necessarily the physical aspects of sport, but what, you know, what's going on inside, um, inside your head um, 
and how you perform mentally in sports. And then meanwhile, unit nine is research method. So that's a combination of actually a little bit of practical, but quite a bit of theory where um, you're looking at how you actually um, research in sport. So I've, um, which I believe Dave's going to put on um, social media soon, I've actually made a little um, video that kind of introduces you to research methods where it comes across quite boring, but actually it can be quite fairly exciting if you actually have something you want to know whether it works. So then you look into how would you actually research the, that type of thing. Um, so I think quite a, a varied year. In terms of the exams, again, what they kind of entail, unit one is very much the body. So kind of like a bit of biology, but sports related human biology. Um, and meanwhile, unit two is a, um, a scenario basic exam where you get given a scenario um, and you will have to create training programs for this scenario or this person in the scenario. You have to improve their nutrition um, so create a nutrition plan. So quite a, quite a broad unit in terms of where it's got your nutrition, types of training um, and health related aspects of life. So it's a quite a varied year, really. I wouldn't say it focuses on anything. It's very broad. So you get a full sort of spectrum of sport at the end of it. Perfect. So, you know, it does, it does give a, an introduction into, into sport and, and, and the different realms of it, which some stuff you might not have studied at, at high school um or where where you've been before um obviously that fits quite nicely into um into the second year the other thing as well is which i'll stress this video is more about just giving you information um you know adam's produced an amazing video which i will release after and there'll be some more videos that will be released after this which will kind of give you little snippets into the actual units um but we just thought that that this would be a nice base and foundation to go from and then we can you know kind of do videos based upon what you lot want because again it's not what it's what you lot want it's not what, what we want um because we're very we're very keen to develop the person here um uh, not just the academic not just the sports person but actually the individual that can go out and be a, a real success in life so you know for me uh units 19 and 22 they're the two examined units in the second year um, the second year is quite intense, I'll be honest, because what we do is we do both, we sit both the exams in January, because then that allows, and we haven't really touched on this either, because you're, you are allowed a retake. Um, that retake does cost, um, but you are allowed to retake an exam if you feel A, the grade isn't right for you, or B, you don't, you, you fail. Um, because obviously to get this qualification, you have to pass all the exams. Um, <clears throat> So in terms of that, we work on sports development, which is unit 19, and we work on unit 22, which is, which is business. Those two exams are, um, are what we call case study exams. So a bit like the unit two case study in year one, um, you, get, um, you get a case study um, a week or two before the exam, and then you have a certain amount of time to take notes on that case study, and then you can take uh, the actual, uh, you can take the actual notes, um, because they're going to be bullet pointed, four sides of A4 only. You can actually take them into the exam. Um, and there is, you know, the questions are quite consistent as well. So in terms of an exam, um, if you prepare right and you prepare well and you prepare smart, you can be a success. And that has seen, I think, the case study exams, there, there has been a, an increase in the, in the quality of, of answer as well. Um, in terms of the practical units, uh, again, it's, it's, a, it's a very similar thing to the slightly different to the first year. So we've got a bit of fitness testing in there, um, application of fitness testing. So again, very practically based. Can we link the theory to that? Um, obviously, the facilities we have at college. So the links to the college gym, the apprentices, the personal training apprentices that we have. Also, um, the SPC, Sussex Performance Centre. You know, we use those guys in a lot of our delivery. Um, unit 8, coaching for performance. Again, um, one of my other jobs is I'm also an FA tutor, so FA uh, in terms of uh, delivering coaching courses for grassroots coaches. Um, ben Coulson has delivered that unit now for the last two years. He's an outstanding coach. He's one of the best um, and, and most qualified rugby coaches in, in Sussex. Um, so again, the knowledge that he provides there is, is excellent. Again, that's very practically based. Um, unit 17, sports injury management. You know, the most frustrating thing that we all experience as a person who is involved in sport is injury. So it's really important to find out about how injuries occur, how can we rehab them? So for example, you know, I've taught on that, uh, on sport and sports science now, 
um, for a few years. And, and, and what we try and do is we try and get experts in um, to provide you with that knowledge. So for example, a former student, Sam Mannings, um, who's now forging a great career um, as, a, as a sports therapist, he comes in and he works um, with, our, with our students in terms of more of the, the rehab kind of, kind of phase of, of, of that unit. Um, work experience in sport. So in terms of a question that might be asked, we, we run work experience in both years of the programme. So usually in year 12, they'll go into schools and do coaching. Year 13, what we try and do is we try and give them licence. So they have to find their own placement in an area of interest. Um, so we've had a lot of shadow physios. We've had a lot that have gone and obviously worked in schools as well. Uh, you know, nutritionists. Um, all those kind of things. So again, it's about you creating your own path, not us telling you. It's about you creating your own path in an area that you uh, you feel you are strong in and, and you feel that you are going to succeed in and, and an area you want to have a career in. Um, and finally, skill acquisition. I've absolutely loved teaching this unit. Um, very similar to how um, students have, uh, have it delivered on A-level PE. A lot about how we um, acquire skill, how we learn, how we can transfer that learning. Lots of what I try to do is try and make it practical. I've had, I've had people practice juggling. I've had people, um, you know, uh, trying to look at conditioning behaviour. So um, giving them sweets every time they do something positive, um, you know, things like booing people, you know, all negative reinforcement, all those kind of things. So just trying to make what we try and do in our classrooms is try and make it a fun atmosphere for you to learn it. Um, so, so in a nutshell, they're the units that we deliver. Obviously, they are fluid as well. Um, we can change them year on year and we do reflect year on year. But at the moment, we feel we have a consistent base where we can move from and, and, and get results. Um, so if we're moving on next... Again, consistency is key, and, and, and this is shown in the successes that we have. Um, this is from last year um, in terms of progression rates from level two to level three, um, continuing to be in the top 20, 25% in the country for grades. So grades are calculated um, across the whole country, and also the high level of students achieving high grades. So that is anything from a distinction merit, merit upwards to a distinction star, distinction star, distinction star. Um, that's equivalent to three A stars A level, and then obviously as you go down through the grades, so distinction would be A stroke B, merit would be B stroke C, um, maybe even D. That kind of that kind of weighting on it as well. So again, our, our our students do excellently, and a lot of that is down to their their hard work and their dedication, which obviously we would want you to be a massive part of. Um, Adam, do you want to? Do you want to have a chat about the additional support we have on offer, especially with regards to the examine-based units? Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, so we've got, um, if you look at the bottom two books, you've got um, Pearson's BTEC National Sport book one and two. That They are the, the core textbooks that we use within lessons and we recommend you uh, purchase yourself. Uh, there's also quite a few in our libraries and they pretty much have everything um, every content of the whole course so they're, they're really um, valuable resources for us and for the students uh, meanwhile we um, strongly advise um, if not make students buy the, uh, the two um, green books at the top one of them is a revision guide so in year one um, that will contain units, units one and two which I described earlier and they're the examined units and they've got basically all the content that you would need for the exams. Slightly shortened so that you can sort of read it a little bit quicker than the books at the bottom. And then you get alongside that, you get a, a revision workbook where it's got practice, practice questions, um, particularly for something like unit two, which is the, um, the scenario based exam where you've got, like, you've got to answer extended questions. So it's giving you help on how to approach those questions. Um, so then you'd obviously refer to the revision guide to then answer the revision workbook. Um, so really uh, valuable resources for the exam, exam, examined units. Meanwhile, alongside that, we've got, um, we've got something called Everlearner. Um, it might, be, might be referred to as my PE exam as well. And that, um, that's basically an online, similar to what, 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 what you're viewing right now, where um, an anatomy and physiology expert is going through um, the unit one content. 
so students can watch little videos, podcasts, um, not podcasts, what they call screencasts on um, anatomy and physiology, and then they've got little quizzes they can do afterwards. Um, so same again, every student has a login for that at the beginning of the year, um, and we're able to check how frequently they go on it and what videos they view. It's a really useful tool. Um, I've also myself got a, uh, a website that I upload pretty much it has pretty much most of the content and sort of more interactive resources and maybe the, the revision guides uh, for students to revise from and I also set a lot of my um, ISP work which is basically homework and um, uh, lesson work knowing that the content is on my website for the students to go and read and view videos um, view presentations so that it assists them with their, their work and their revision. Um, so yeah, so, so there's loads of resources that we provide and that are already out there that we've just tapped up to give to the students. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, I'll definitely add in your, uh, your link to, the, to somewhere. So whether it's the bottom of the, you know, the description page, because again, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic resource. Um, we also, literally from straight off the bat, we provide subject support. So obviously that's in addition to the classes that you, that you have. This is just an example timetable. Um, so this is across all our courses, so from A-level PE all the way through sports, sports science, um, level two as well. Um, so basically each member of staff that we have in the department um, gives up a lunchtime or a couple of hours of their time um, to make sure that if you have any questions, you can, um, you know, you can ask and you can, and you can, uh, you can get supported. Sometimes we, we tell you to go, you must go, um, obviously if you're struggling, um, but more often than not, it's more of a drop-in option. Um, in terms of this as a, as a summary, I'm just going to, I'm not going to uh, hang on this too much. So obviously you can pause this and, and read it as you were. Um, in terms of English and maths, ideally, uh, you do need to obtain that, that grade four in both. Um, if not, you will be asked to retake, which, you know, students find that a real pain in the backside, if I'm honest. And, and, and so, you know, I, I, again, we don't know what's going to happen now with with uh, with the results. Um, hopefully, you've done enough in coursework and um, and also any any previous mocks or anything like that to get that for. If you haven't, then then again, we we are still here to help you. It's not doors that are closed, um, but expect and especially if you have an academy timetable as well, expect to be busy. Um, so to manage your time wisely. Um, final part, really. Um, so we try and keep things quite simple in terms of our standards. So we have our sports standards. So the standards you set, the standards you get. So, you know, be on time, bring correct kit and equipment, work hard. And also, and it's really important this time as well in lockdown currently to have, you know, healthy body, healthy mind. So, you know, I hope, I really hope you've got a routine. I really hope you've got structure to what you're doing. I really hope that you are spending time on exercise. I, I, you know, I, I, I really hope you are learning other things. I really hope you're, taking three two or three hours out of your day to, to do that um but again it, it is we are looking at developing the person here so the employability skills on the right hand side um you know and more so it, yes you get your qualification but we think you get you get much more you become more of a of a rounded individual too um what can i do with sport you know i this will probably be have to be another another vodcast on its own because there's there's so many um, basically the world's your oyster uh, in terms of in terms of what you can do um, we've all got different backgrounds in terms of where we've come from mine's more coaching um, Adam's more personal training that kind of conditioning that kind of area um, and, I, and I think that's really great in the department we've got so many different backgrounds in, in terms of where we've come from um, you know university is obviously your you know you know your number one uh, that's what people look at I think the opportunities now to go abroad are, are massive. So, you know, we've got amazing links with universities um, abroad, especially in America. You know, they, because of the standard that we play, especially in football, you know, they, they, they love to have our students um, and also academically too. Um, but as you can see, anywhere across the country, anything is open to you. Um, and it doesn't matter if you study BTEC, it doesn't matter if you study A-level, you know, look at look at your, you know, look at what the courses advise you, look at what the entry requirements are before making your decision at college. And then obviously, you know, that, that, that gives you a massive opportunity. So you, you only get out what you put in. Um, so what are your thoughts on that, Adam, in terms of higher education? Because obviously we've all come from that background as well. 
Uh, well, I think what's what's quite um, good about doing a B Tech is if if you go back to all the the names of the different units, is you've had a go at sports coaching, you've had a go at um, uh, sports injury, you've had a go at sports business, sport development. Um, well, so you know, you've done research methods, you've um, done lots of anatomy and physiology, you've done bits of personal training. So you kind of had a go at everything. And then from then you, you decide, well, actually, I really liked the sports injury module. So why don't I look at sports therapy or physiotherapy? Or do you know, what? actually, I really like the sports psychology module. So I'm going to do something like that at university. And in terms of universities, what's, what's really good about the fact that we now have examined units is there is no discrepancy whether A level is any better than B tech. It, they are, they are very much on par with each other now. So lots of universities are accepting um, the B tech qualification. Um, and like I said, you've had to go at everything. So there's very few courses that won't take you because you have some experience in doing everything. Um, yeah, these new courses have been designed by the universities as well. So you know they they have absolute buy-in um, into what we're doing. So. Again, if, if you want to do that already, I know you haven't come to the college yet, but have a look on the UCAS website, type in an area that you, you know, if it's sports physiotherapy, look at the, look at the entry requirements. What course does it allow you, does it want you to do some, especially with physio, which is quite a big thing. They look at um, more of sports science um, plus another qualification. So that's going to be another chat that I'm going to be having with, um, with another member of staff, Chris Turner. So again, just have a look at what the entry requirements are and what you need to do to get there. Um, we also run apprenticeships at the college, which, you know, in terms of detail, we, we start to talk about that in year 12 and year 13. So we have career, we have a sport uh, career fair, which is just designed specifically to, for those courses, um, for those guys that are interested in, in developing uh, a career in sports, sports science. Um, so there's, there's five there at the moment, which, which we run, um, which we can go into more detail in, in further chats. Um, the final bit before we before we sign off is is actually we're the only department in the college that runs from level two to level five. So if you're thinking that level two is your your GCSE uh, level that you're currently at, level three is potentially A level. You're coming on to next year B Tech, and then your fours and fives is your foundation degree. Um, so Adam, just give a, a very tiny insight because obviously I think this will be another another video as well, just in terms of what the foundation degree is and and, and how it's been run over the last three years. Um, so basically what it is, we're, we're endorsed by, um, or sort of associated, accredited by a Chichester University. So where a traditional degree would be, you've done your A-levels, you've done your B-Tech, you go off to university, you'd be there for three years. And the third year is what gives you the degree. Now what we run is the first two years of a degree. So if you left, our, if you did the two years and that's all you ever did, you'd have a foundation degree. However, we have a, um, like I said, we're accredited with Chichester University, so you get an automatic entry into Chichester University to do your third year, and you have a full degree. You could likewise apply to Bath for the third year, or Brighton University, and then you could finish your degree that way. Um, but I suppose the advantage of doing it with us is you're already in-house, so predominantly most of our students are students who have done a BTEC sport, a-level PE or BTEC Sports Science with us and they now are doing level four and five so the first two years of university. Um, it's slightly cheaper and we have slightly smaller classes um, of the, and it's a familiar setting so lots of students like that and um, the small classes mean that you're not one of a hundred in a big lecture theatre you're one of 12 so I think it's 12 first years this year um, so I myself teach on that and I'm readily available to be spoken to, to have tutorials. Meanwhile, if you're one of a hundred in a sports science course at, I don't know, Loughborough, um, you'd probably never get to speak to your lecturer. Um, so, um, so yes, yeah, so we find that quite effective to get pretty decent grades um, uh, for a very specific type of student. Nice one, mate. So again, it's just, it's just the, the, the depth and the breadth of, um, of the qualifications that we offer. Um, so again, you know, as, as we know, just to finish up, applications are still open. I know in this time people have asked me, you know, can I still apply? You know, what, what do I need to do? You know, it's exactly the same. So just go onto the website, click the apply now. If it's sport, sport foundation diploma, you know, we're going to go through the other courses as well. Um, we just want to keep you very well informed during this time. 
So we want certainties. We want to provide you with the information that will happen um, as and when we, we come out the other side, which I'm, which I'm sure we will do. Um, just to finish off, Adam, any advice for a year 11 student right now? Um, learn your bones and muscles. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, no, just, just get on it. Make sure if you want to go to university or want to do a specific career, just, just quickly Google it, look it up and find out what um, qualifications they like you to have. Um, so for example, really popular one is, uh, I want to be a physiotherapist. Well, go on to go find a university, see what they want you to have. Um, and then um, if it says BTEC, then you can go and do a BTEC. If it says A-levels, uh, a, um, a then you have to do A-levels. Um, but just, just research that now while you can, and then you know you're on the right course when it comes to September. I think, um, I think for me, just to finish off, I think this is a really important time for a lot of people. I think as a year 11, or even as our year 12s and our year 13s, this is re a real time to sort things out. This is a real time to get a real clear vision in, in terms of what you're going to be doing for the next two, three years. Um, you know, the opportunity to think, to learn new things, to be excited by things, but it all comes down to having that routine, having that structure. Because without that, you know, you, you're literally just going to sit there. I, you know, there, there's a lot of negative things going on in the world at the moment. You know, people are losing their lives. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's other things going on all around the world. And, and obviously, hopefully, we, everyone listening to this is safe and well. So, you know, there, there's, there's a lot, people, lot more people worse off than you at this current time. So it's really important just to, you know, obviously, if you stay in bed, you know, all day, that's not healthy. Get yourself out, get some sun get some structure, get some routine into your life. And obviously as well, we, you know, we've never met you yet, but we are on the end of an email. You can contact us because at the end of the day, you are coming into a program which we deem as, as one of the best around. And not just for academics, not just for sport, but also just for looking after people as well. So, you know, to finish on that one, um, just want to thank you, Adam, for your time. And uh, obviously I'm sure we'll do a few of these, these soon. And we'll look forward to your, uh, to your world premiere of your video because it's excellent. So thank you very much, guys. Take care. Thank you. See you.